This morning, uh, members of the Locked Up Investment Forum have actually hit the street uh, to protest, to put pressure on the Bank of Ghana to help retrieve their locked up funds with some financial houses and savings and loan companies across the country. These are persons who have invested with uh, corporate finance uh, entities, some even invested with church corporate entities. All of them are saying that their money is over the period have been locked up with us entities without being able to retrieve them. They started a walk actually from the premises of the NDK financial company around the Accra Sports Stadium and heading towards the Bank of Ghana to present their, uh, 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 their petition to governor of the BOG. And so that's what is happening. If you look on some of the placards, they have the Bank of Ghana don't kill investors with your poor supervision. Others are saying that the Bank of Ghana should wake up and do its job. Others say we want our money back. We worked for it. We can try and have a conversation with some of them to know what exactly what their plight are. I mean, we would want to have a conversation with you. Uh, tell us about your own situation with this host savings and loan companies and your lockup funds. To be honest with you, right now I have to take my medication every other day. I can't afford to take it every day. I have to space it out. You can't live comfortably like you have planned to do. And it is, it is not right at all. It is so unfair. We thought that we were going to the BOG uh, to terminate the protest. Why are we here at the Kwame Nkrumah well, Memorial? According to the police, they have declared uh, those areas as security zone. You recall that when the minority uh, in parliament held their protest, they stopped them at some point. And I'm told, the police told me it was at this point that they stopped them. So we don't want to force the police to go against their own rule. So we were even going to be at the roadside there, but they realized that the sun is too much. So they pleaded with these people to allow us here so that we can rest under this uh, 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 shade. So but, but was that the original plan? Yes. The original plan yes. was for you to come here? To, to be at the roadside there, to converge there, and then wait for our leaders to go and come. But now they have allowed us to come inside here so that the sun we shall be protected by the sun. So there are some key highlights in that petition and the proposal. The proposal as we have proposed two methods or approaches. Either you give them money, these institutions that are not able to operate, NDK Financial Services, SDC Financial Services, SIC Life uh, Savings and Loans and Bond Savings and Loans give them support, find some money. We have said that they should be talking to the uh, development partners to allow them to even use part of the stability fund to do this kind of exercise. Give them some money, which can cover about 20% of investors' funds there, so that investors get about 20% of their funds. The rest, we are prepared to convert it into, let's say, a four or three year bond. And we are also prepared to even convert the balance into equity. Leadership of the group was dispatched to go into that meeting with the governor. They returned hours later to tell the rest of the team that the BOG has agreed to their proposal. The conclusion that we had from that meeting is that the Bank of Ghana was prepared to revoke the licenses of these institutions. But they must first be assured by government that government has made provision for the payment of these investors funds before they revoke, in short. So they are dealing with government for government to provide those uh, monies for that. The government has not been able to do that as of now. So we too, when we go to the minister, that's the message we are going to send to the minister. The protesters then marched on the streets to the finance ministry to meet the minister. But at reaching we the ministry, the we gates were shut at the protesters, resulting in anger. Otherwise, we will be coming here every day. Is it your minister who said we shouldn't come, or you are saying, what is what's, what's the authority for you to lock the place? That Some people, we are not saying all of us are coming. Ten people are coming to meet the minister because we have written to the minister. And you are saying what? The minister is not Master, you don't need to be working here. It means you don't even understand organization. 
you don't understand organization, you shouldn't be here. You should be fired. If I want to meet the minister and it's not there, there should be a human being who will represent the minister. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you are employed here. You shouldn't be here because you don't understand, you don't understand organization. To say, to say minister is not there and so what? The, the minister is not there. There is nobody in this. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm announcing this to the whole, the whole world. After the back and forth, some members were allowed in. They came back minutes later to inform the media that they couldn't meet the finance minister. Not Ghanaians. Are we? Are we not Ghanaians? Are they any Ghana for? I am paying for the Ababedu who be anti me and share him. Yeah, but in two weeks time, oh my, share him. My head, that how come him say? Yeah, but you yes, sir. Ghana yes, safe for investment. And yes, safe for investment. Yeah, you yes, sir. Convener of the group, Dr. Ibrahim Nyenge, said they will return to the ministry every two weeks until they meet the minister. James Savage's report for Joy News.